Time now for our Spotlight program on a Monday, and as we do each and every Monday, it is Chamber Talk, and Deidre Detman's in the studios. Good morning, Deidre. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Thanks. Have a nice weekend? I did. I did. Great. It's a busy week at the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. I want to remind you, you can log in to fairfieldiowa.com and look at the schedule or sign up for the Monday morning newsletter, the week that will be, that hits your email box, usually bright and early Monday morning. But uh, in the meantime, this is sort of a rundown. We'll get you up to date on what's happening at the Chamber this week. We also have a special guest. First of all, let's talk about Leadership Fairfield. You mentioned last week that uh, it's now open for enrollment for the 2016-17 mm-hmm. Leadership Correct. Fairfield, right? Correct. This is the third time this is being offered, and we want to make sure folks know that this is open to any professional. It doesn't have to be just a young professional. We've had some more seasoned professionals also enroll, and it's a great opportunity for folks to learn and develop leadership skills, network with other leaders throughout the community, and really get an in-depth look at the, the different sectors of the community overall. The applications are being accepted through August 19th, which is a Friday. And the program's going to kick off shortly after that. People will be notified by the 22nd if they're accepted. And we'll begin August 30th with the kickoff. And then the group meets monthly and concludes with the banquet on March 24th. And so. again, if you want more information, contact the Chamber at 472-2111 or email them, chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. Mm-hmm. And again, that'll be Tuesdays, uh, Tuesdays starting August 30th. Yes. All right. The back-to-school reception is on August 25th. Yep. Uh, Just another reminder about this coming up, and it's going to be right after school, uh, 4 o'clock to 5.30 at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club. And a reminder that it's free to members and $5 for non-members if they want to join us. And I also want to remind folks that if your business is a member, remember all the employees are also members. So we've had that question come up a few times. Would you like people to RSVP? We would so that we can help us plan. All right. So, again, just contact the Chamber. Let's highlight one of your member-to-member program participants this week. It's uh, Fairfield Line. Yes. So this week's highlighted discount is 25% off a purchase of $20 or more at Fairfield Line. All right. All right. uh, Again this week, uh, Dietra has a special guest in the studio. It is Jim Meixner with uh, Fairfield Precast. So uh, why don't you uh, talk to Jim about his business? (laughs) Well, I had a great visit. We had an ambassador visit a couple weeks ago out at Fairfield Precast, and I learned some things about what they do out there, and I wanted to have the listeners have an opportunity to learn that as well. So thanks, Jim, for coming in this morning. Thank you. Yeah. So for those who may not know, can you explain a little bit about exactly what your business does do? We uh, manufacture a variety of sizes of septic tanks, concrete feed bunks, uh, cisterns. We also make storm shelters and just a variety of you know precast products that we can manufacture there. Okay, and I know you said you specialized in a couple different things by and large, and that was the storm shelters and septic tanks. Yep, septic tanks is by far the biggest part of our mm-hmm. business going out for okay. everybody that lives out in the country. And one thing that you talked about on our tour out there was the fact that you guys had a knuckle boom truck, which kind of sets you apart from other businesses in the state that might be sort of in the, you know in the same product line. So can you explain what that is over the radio and how that's created a niche for you? The knuckle booms, basically, it's all run by hydraulics, kind of in the lines of an excavator in a way. There's several cylinders on there, but it gives us the versatility to get into some job sites that some of the other trucks cannot get into. We don't have to be setting on complete level ground in order to set the tanks and the holes. Okay. So just more versatility. And where are some of the areas that you've gone, you know, maybe outside of southeast Iowa that people have needed that that type of we do quite a bit up around interstate 80 where it gets a lot of the hilly terrain and stuff Mm. so there's a lot of grounds that the trucks just can't get in if it's not flat so and again i believe you said you were the only ones in iowa that had that truck so you get get sought out to for those special situations yes we do great um and then part of the reason too we had the ambassador visit was because you and your wife took over ownership earlier this year so and that was you purchased it from Amber's parents, correct? Yes. So how long um, do you know that they had been in the business? And can you tell us kind of what, what your vision is to the future? They originally bought the business in 2000 from Harry Clark and mm-hmm. left the business name the same. And we're leaving the business name the same as well. So it's been kind of a family-run business for probably over 30 years okay. as far as being in Fairfield. Great. So. 
Well, it's exciting to see it continue, and I certainly learned a lot while I was out there. Uh, Jim, what is the largest thing that you make? And then, uh, conversely, what's the smallest thing that you uh, make? <laughs> the largest thing we make, we do make a 2,500-gallon septic tank, which some of the RV parks and stuff have a need for, but we can also convert that over to a 3,000-gallon cistern. So if people like to collect the rainwater, we do make tanks for the cisterns for that as well. And then, then the smallest uh, thing that you would We uh, used to make some small birth baths, but we got away from the bird baths and leaves that to Tim's now. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, and then the next question is, when you uh, make something, do you make your own fo- uh, forms and molds? Or do you do that? Do you do that in-house? Yes, most of the, all the septic tank forms we make ourselves. So they're all custom made just our size. So and, we can keep everything on a lower side. And is there something different about the mix that you use with the septic tanks and uh, that sort of stuff than there would see make, someone makes a sidewalk? We uh, typically use a 5,000 PSI concrete mix in all of our products. So we have a few additives we add in, too, to help it make it a little more chemical resistant since right. the septic it does have strong acid to it. All right. Thanks. Anything else? Deidre? I think we covered a lot of – was pretty interesting out there and some of the changes it was so it thanks was. for coming in this morning yeah, thanks so much jim uh, jim meixner from fairfield precast here on the spotlight program got a busy week at the chamber let's uh, jump right into your calendar okay we're going to try to roll through everything so <laughs> today um monday august 1st happy august everyone the mississippi river valley blood center drive is taking place at the parkview care center starting at 9 30 a.m and goes till noon Tomorrow, we've got Career Ready 101 at Indian Hills Community College at the Jefferson Center from 1030 to 11. We've got an ambas- another ambassador's visit coming up for the chamber with Edwards Jones Investments with Joe Stever, and that's going to be at 11 o'clock a.m. Then on Wednesday, Fairfield Farmers Market, still going strong, lots of great produce out there uh, at Howard Park from 3 to 6 p.m., and the Fairfield Public Library is having a program, Smartphone Video Class, um, for folks. And that's going to be at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Thursday, August 4th, there's a hunger workshop at the Hy-Vee Club Room. And Dietitian D. Sanquist, I believe, is organizing that from 1030 to 11. I'd like to highlight again the Chamber Business After Hours at the Jefferson County Farm Bureau, which is located at 106 North 28th Street. And that it will run from 4 to 6 p.m. And that's open to anyone. I went to my first one at Sunnybrook Home Care last Thursday, had a great time, met some, some folks. So I hope to see some people out there, um, meet some new folks at the Farm Bureau on Thursday as well. Then that evening, Fair Time Bingo, Fairfield Arts Convention Center at 7.30 p.m icon thursday at the icon gallery it's 7 30 p.m and then as we get towards the end of the week on friday august 5th another ambassador visit universal business logistics they're going to have their ambassador visit at 11 30 that morning and rotary club of fairfield we meeting and their program is called creating a community through holistic rehabilitation and that's at noon at the fairfield golf and country club and as we start to wrap up the weekend, Fairfield First Friday Art Walk, Blues and Barbecue. And that ties in nicely with an event on Saturday, August 6th, which is the Blue, Blue Ribbon Blues Fest at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds, with doors opening at 4.30 p.m. By the way, we'll have First Friday's Art Walk on the program tomorrow, talking about all the activities, Excellent. In- including the entertainment. All right. And, of course, on Saturday, again, is the Fairfield Farmer's Market from 8 to 1. Very busy week. And, uh, again, that's the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce Spotlight Program today. Deidre, it's always nice seeing you. And, Jim, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule. Thank you. Thank you as well. All right. That's Chamber Talk here on a Monday on 1570 KMCD. Stay tuned. We'll have a look at the markets with the Brownfield Radio Network around the corner. Have a look at your forecast. And maybe we'll slip in a a couple of country tunes as well here on KMCD.